Huntsville Hospital got dangerously close to experiencing a critical blood shortage. Today, the hospital teamed up with LifeSouth for an emergency blood drive. Way 31's Olivia Schuler joins us live this afternoon. And Olivia, what's the hospital seeing right now? Murray, fewer people are actually donating their blood right now. The lab director here at Huntsville Hospital says it could have to do with the summertime season, but also the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, the Huntsville Hospital is working to stay ahead of that nationwide blood shortage we're seeing. Now, it was a packed house of people at Huntsville Hospital, donors willing to take a break from their days and have blood drawn from their arms. Lab director Christy Campbell says the hospital needs to replenish its supply in every blood type. A number of patients rely on significant supplies of blood. Our highest users of blood products are our cancer patients, our uh, open heart surgery patients. Uh, sometimes we have trauma patients that come in that use a good many blood products. So, um, but then a good many of our patients who are just here for other medical reasons in the hospital do need transfusions while they're with us. According to the American Red Cross, every two seconds, someone in the United States needs blood. Now, today was the first time since the pandemic that Huntsville Hospital was able to have Life South back at their campus to host that blood drive. On Way 31 News at 6, we'll give you details on where you can get your blood drawn if you're looking to give back and we're not able to come to today's blood drive at Huntsville Hospital. Reporting live in Huntsville, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Olivia. Back in January, the Red Cross announced its first ever national blood crisis.